The ancient script seems to indicate that the Nephilim once inhabited the earth. We have uh, writings in ancient Greece, we have writings in the Holy Bible, in the book of Genesis, and we even have the first king of Greece, Eric Thonius, and uh, the Vestal Virgins next to the Acropolis of Athens have a temple dedicated to him. He was half, the top half of him was a, a human and the bottom half was the snake tail. And this is the first king of Greece. Obviously he was a reptilian. Now the Qumran caves in the West Bank of Israel have been considered a veritable treasure trove for historians, particularly those specializing in ancient literature and mythology. A few years ago, archaeologists unearthed an ancient book in these caves, which is referred to as the Book of Giants. This text gives the detail about an ancient race of otherworldly creatures who existed and eventually died out on Earth. At this current time, there is very little that historians can deduce about the authorship of the Book of Giants. However, it has been noted that there are remarkable crossovers between this mysterious text and other known ancient manuscripts such as the Mesopotamian Epic of Gilgamesh and even the apocryphal Book of Enoch. Maweh mounted up in the air like strong winds and flew with his hands like eagles. He left behind the inhabited world and passed over desolation, a great desert, and Enoch saw him and hailed him, and Maweh said to him, Hither and thither a second time to Maweh, the giants await your words, and all the monsters of the earth has been carried from the days of there, and they would be added, we would know from your their meaning, two hundred trees that from heaven came down. Now, obviously there are areas that are missing here. The book of giants describes the creatures as two hundred trees from heaven, which came down and populated the planet earth. They are described as a corrupt and debased species, prone to hideous acts of violence and unnatural acts with animals and human beings. After a period of years, one of the giants, Mawe, started to experience prophetic dreams, and these dreams saw a tablet bearing the names of everyone on earth being submerged beneath the water. When the tablet rose again, all but three of the names had been washed away by the waves. This particular passage has been interpreted as referring to the survival of Noah and his family after the Great Flood. It was when Maui shared these visions with his fellow giants that they realized the futility of attempting to resist the forces of heaven. They decided to seek out Enoch and ask him to plead to God on their behalf. Enoch is an ancient Jewish mythological figure believed to be the great great grandfather of Noah, the great grandfather of Noah, and has a reference in the book of Genesis where he's described as having a special personal relationship with God. He lived for an astonishing 365 years before simply disappearing with God one day. Enoch interceded on behalf of the giants and delivered a damning judgment to them from God. However, he promised them that there was some hope for their redemption. It's assumed that the giants were washed away in the great flood that devastated the world several generations after that. What the race did in the interim is still a matter of great mystery. Another mystery is what this giant race could have been. The fact that they are described as coming down from heaven strongly suggests that they were of extraterrestrial origin, which has led some to speculate that the giants, quote unquote, may have been the heavily mythologized race of ancient aliens called the Nephilim. The Book of Giants explains how the Nephilim caused chaos on earth and changed everything during that time, a summary statement of the descent of the wicked angels bringing both knowledge and havoc. Compare Genesis 6, 1 to 2 and 4. And the angels exploited the fruitlessness of the earth. Fragment says, everything that the earth produced, the great fish, the sky with all that grew, fruit of the earth and all kinds of grain and all the trees, beasts and reptiles, creeping things of the earth, and they observed all, harsh deed and male and female and among humans. The 200 angels chose choose animals in which to perform 
unnatural acts, including presumably humans. Fragment, Q23, 200, two donkeys, 200 asses, 200 rams of the three flock, 200 goats, 200 beasts of the field from every animal, from every bird, for miscegenation. Mis the outcome of the demonic corruption was violence, perversion, and a, broad, a brood of monstrous beings compared to Genesis 6.4. They defiled, they begot giants and monsters, they begot and behold the earth was corrupted with its blood and by the hand of giants which did not sacrifice, suffice for them, and they were seeking to devour many, and the monsters attacked it. Another fragment says, Flesh, all monsters will be, they would arise, lacking in true knowledge, because the earth grew corrupt. Mighty, they were considered, from the angels upon, and in the end it will perish and die. They cause great corruption in the earth. The giants begin to be troubled by a series of dreams and visions. Mawe, the titan son of the angel Barakel, reports the first of these dreams and his fellow, on, to his fellow giants. He sees a tablet being immersed in water. When it emerges, all but three names have been washed away. The dream eventually evidently symbolizes the destruction of all but Noah and his sons by the flood. A fragment says, they drenched the tablet in water. The waters went up over the tablet. They lifted out the tablet from the water. The giant goes to the others and they discuss the dream. And the vision is for cursing and sorrow. I am the one who confessed the whole group of the castaways that I shall go. The spirits of the slain compare, complaining about their killers and crying out that we shall die together and be made an end of much and I will be sleeping and bread for my dwelling. The vision and also entered into the gathering of the giants. Another fragment says, Oh, yeah. And he said to Mahwe without trembling, who showed you all this vision? And my brother Barakel, my father, was with me before Mawe had finished telling what he had seen, said to him, Now I have heard wonders if a barren woman gives birth. Fragment 4.3 Thereupon Oya said to Haya to be destroyed from upon the earth and the earth when they wept before the giants. Your strength? Thereupon Oya said to Haya then he answered, It is not for us, but for Aziel, for he did, the children of angels are the giants, and they would not let all their proved ones be neglected. We have not been cast down, you have strength. The giants realize the futility of fighting against the forces of heaven. The first speaker may be Gilgamesh. Fragment 4Q531 I am a giant, and by the mighty strength of my arm and my own great strength, any one mortal that I have made war against them, but I am not able to stand against them, for my opponents reside in heaven, and they dwell in the holy places, and not are stronger than. Of the wild beast has come, and the wild man they call me. Then Oya said to him, I have been forced to have a dream. The sleep of my eyes vanished to let me see a vision. Now I know that on Gilgamesh. Oya's dream vision is of a tree that is uprooted except for three of its roots. The vision's import uh, is the same as that of the first dream. Oya tries to avoid the implications of the visions, and above he stated that it refers only to a demon, Azazel, and there he suggests that the destruction is for the earthly rulers alone. More dreams afflict the giants. The details of the vision are obscure, but it bodes ill for the giants. The Nephilim, that is. The dreamers speak first of the monsters, then to the giants. And thereupon two of them had dreams, and the sleep of their eyes fled from them. And they arose and came to their dreams and said, In the assembly of their comrades, the monsters, In my dream I was watching this very night, and there was a garden, gardeners, and they were watering. Two hundred trees and large shoots came out of their roots. All the water and the fire burned all in the garden and they found the giants to tell them. Something suggests that Enoch be found to interpret the vision. 
And after a cosmic journey, Maui comes to Enoch and makes his re request. Enoch sends back a tablet with its grim message of judgment, but with hope for repentance. A fragment apparently detailed a vision that Enoch saw. Fragment 4Q531. Great fear seized me and I fell on my face. I heard his voice. He dwelt among human beings, but he did not learn from them. This is from the Book of Giants by W. H. Henning on sacred texts and its unbended reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.